Now, in a previous video, I taught you how to add and subtract numbers in binary. In this video, I want to take it a step higher. Now, I think the best way to do this is to take examples. So, let's take examples. So, we have this question. Find the missing numbers below. We have 101101 plus. We don't know this. And then we are given 1000110. Now, before I solve this, I need to show you an illustration. Now, let's say I have 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, instead of giving you all the numbers here, if I give you 2 plus, now let's say I have asterisk here, and then we still have 5. How do you find this asterisk? Now, to find the asterisk, all I need to do is 5 minus 2. Can you see? 5 minus 2 is what? 3. Do you understand? So, to find the asterisk, I'll just do 5 minus 2. And then I get 3. If I add the asterisk up, I'll be having 5 minus 3. And then I'll get 2. Do you understand? So in this case, to get the number in this asterisk, I'll do this one minus this one on top. Do you understand? So it means that we are going to be having 1000110, zero, 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 one, one, zero, which is this, minus the one on top. 101101. Now you have to be very careful. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 digits. So you should start from here. 101101. Do you understand? So let's subtract. We have 0 minus 1 impossible. We borrow 1 from here. 0. Because we are working in base 2, when it comes here, it becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1. It's impossible. I come to borrow 1 from here. This becomes 0. When it comes here, it becomes 2. But I'm coming here, so I borrow 1 from here. This becomes 1. It comes here, it becomes 2. But I'm going here, so I borrow 1 from here. This becomes 1. When it comes here, it becomes 2. So we have 2 minus 1 is 1. We have 1 minus 0 is 1. Then we have 1 minus 1 is 0. I don't need to write that. So my answer is 11001 in base 2. Do you understand? All right, let's take another example. All right, so in this case, we have find the missing numbers below. 11110 in base 2 minus asterisks to give us 10010 in base 2. Now let's take an illustration again. Now, in this case, let's say we have 7 minus 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. Now, let's say I omit a number. So, we have 7 minus asterisk. How do we find the asterisk? How do we find the asterisk? So, to find this, we are going to say 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3 will give me 4. Can you see? So, it means that to find these asterisks here, yeah, I have to do 11110 in base 2 minus this. Does that make sense? All right, let's try to do that. So we are going to have 11110 in base 2 minus 10010 in base 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. I don't need to write it. So it means that my answer is 1100 in base 2. Do you understand? So to get the asterisk in the middle, all I need to do is to say the first one minus the last number. Do you understand? Let's take another example. All right, so we have find the missing numbers below. We have asterisk on top, minus 1011 in base 2. To give 1011 in base 2. Now let's still use this 7 minus 4 illustration. Now 7 minus 4 is 3. Now let's say the top one was omitted. How do I find it? How do I find 7 on top? I'm going to be saying 3 plus 4. Do you understand? So 3 plus 4 will give me 7. Now that's what we are going to do here also. We are going to say. 1011 in base 2 plus 1011 in base 2. 
Do you understand? So let's go. 1011 base 2 plus 1011 base 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Because we are working in base 2, we can't write 2, so we divide. 1 remainder 0, so we write 0. We carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. We can't write 3 because we are working in base 2. So we divide. That's 1 remainder 1. So 1 carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. We can't write 2 because we are working in base 2. When we divide, we have 1 remainder 0. So I write 0. Since I don't have anything here again, I put the 1 by the side. So our answer is 10110 in base 2. Do you understand? So, um, so that you are not confused and you don't make mistake. If you are given a question like this, make sure you try as much as possible to illustrate it. You can illustrate with any number. I could have as well said 8 minus 4 is 4. So if they ask me to find this one, I'll just say 4 plus 4. So I know that I'm to add them. And if I'm told to find this one, all I need to do is 8 minus 4. Do you understand? I hope you do.